Hello everyone and welcome to Counselor Feature Friday. I'm your host, Brian Urban. In these features, we hope to give you some simple tips, tidbits and tricks to make your days easier and your patients happier. In this feature, we're going to talk about the Staff Utilization Dashboard Widget. This is a tool that enables you to see what individual staff members um, are, are doing, basically what's on their schedule for the specified time period. So first we're going to talk very briefly about the Dashboard Widget itself. Then we're going to show the behind the scenes setup, and then we're going to show how it's reflected or how the information from the schedule is reflected here in the dashboard widget. So very briefly in the dashboard widget, we can see, of course, there's the option to pick. First off, if there's an individual clinic you want to look at, um, it, this would particularly be useful if you have uh, providers that go across, you know, go between different locations in the same day or the same week. You have the ability to uh, say all clinics, for example, or specify an individual or if you're using the regions feature, of course, you can use that as well. We're going to leave this as all clinic, all clinics as this provider goes between locations. Then you can select uh, different time spans. So we'll start with current week, but of course, we could look at last week, next week, etc. Okay. Um, within the widget itself, you also can change between different uh, staff members as needed uh, to check out their activities. So here we're going to see for the current week for this provider, we can see the number of business hours. So these are hours that are not blocked. Right. These are, uh, I, I should say, that are set up in the business hours uh, tool, which I'm going to show you in just a moment here. So these are hours that uh, you expect to be scheduled in some fashion, whether it's seeing patients or perhaps it's admin time or desk time. Um, but these are these are hours where the um, staff member is in clinic and is doing activities. OK, um, so here we can see for the current week, uh, we had total 47 hours. We can see patient um, hours is set at 23 and a quarter. Non-patient hours, right? You can break this down and you see the available, okay? of course, with the related percentages. Then you can actually see the specific appointment types that are involved. Okay, so let's see uh, what this provider is doing. And this tool is designed to help you kind of be aware if there, you know, maybe there's things are a bit disproportionate. Maybe you're spending the bulk of your time on cleaning checks and you don't have a lot of time for pay, perhaps like new patient and vows or whatever the case may be. Um, just to give you a better sense week by week or more generally across say, a three month period, what is happening for individual staff members. As we scroll down here, we can see also the non-patient uh, hours. You may notice that uh, perhaps someone doesn't have enough desk time or they have excess or whatever the case may be. Um, you can obviously, the goal is you can see that directly here uh, from the dashboard. If you wanna see the raw data that comprises this, you can always uh, drop this information into a spreadsheet. Okay, so that's the dashboard widget itself, but let's look at the very important setup. Uh, when you look at the, this dashboard widget, it may say you do not have your business hours set up, right? Uh, so it'll give you that message if, of course, the business hours are not set up. So uh, typically this activity is performed by an administrator within the practice. Uh, generally what you do is you would go to administration in the top menu bar, select user list. You can then go ahead and select the staff member uh, that you wish to kind of look at more closely. So we'll take the profile we were just looking at a moment ago. And you're gonna go to the security tab. So of course in the security tab, there's a lot of things that you can do as an admin uh, to control uh, what the staff member can see and do within the system. There's also a very important feature here for business hours. This is where, when you click on settings, you have the ability to uh, set kind of the static hours. These are the times when you anticipate this provider will be there routinely, right? So in this example, this provider goes between locations. So we can see here that on Mondays, they're, they're in the test clinic from eight to noon, right? We can see the rest of the week. And again, on Thursday, it's just eight to noon, not a full day. If we were to go to the Lake Street Clinic, what we'd see is really kind of the, uh, the mirror image of this, right? So the provider is in the Lake Street Clinic from noon to five. Now it doesn't always have to match up this, this neatly, but the point is um, this allows you to set the specific hours uh, for specific providers. And then of course they show up on the schedule as static blocks, meaning, hey, we know this provider is not in Lake Street on, Mon on Sundays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Fridays and Saturdays, right? So it's very clear from the schedule level. There's other ways to do blocking as well, but this is a very nice way if you know the specific hours that are routine, right? So you can go ahead, you can uh, obviously update the hours for individual uh, clinic locations. Uh, we can save this uh, and that will be reflected immediately on the schedule. So if you jump to the schedule, what you're gonna see are any blocks uh, for this uh, provider. So here, for example, 
we had noted that the patient at uh, the provider was going to be in the other clinic on Monday and Thursday afternoon. So there we go. We can see there's a business hour block in place. If need be, you can schedule against this, but you know, by and large, uh, typically this just lets you know the provider's not there. Because if we jump over to Lake Street, what we're going to see is that provider's not available except on Monday and Thursday afternoons, right? So it can make things really nice and clear as you are uh, jumping between clinics. Now, how that relates to the dashboard widget. Once again, if we jump back to the dashboard, what we're going to see is that, of course, if we switch between individual clinics here, so let's go with the test OMS clinic first, we're going to, of course, see the hours specific to that clinic, right? And then if we switch over to, in this case, the Lake Street clinic, we're going to see the hours specific there. So you can either look at this provider kind of from the wide view and say, let's see all the, the hours, the business hours uh, across the board, doesn't matter where they are. Uh, or you can just say, we'll zoom in. Now, of course, if you have one location, this is uh, kind of an, uh, a moot point because it would all just be the same, right? But this is what I'm reviewing here is if you have multiple locations, uh, locations and you wish to kind of review that in more detail. Okay, so uh, if you have any questions about setting up the business hours, uh, I also encourage you to watch the, uh, the tutorial on managing block scheduling because uh, that includes a really, hopefully, a nice description of the different types of blocks and how they're utilized because you may find you have different purposes so you might set your business hours in very broad strokes you might say we're here eight to five right keep it very general and then you have more individual blocks throughout the day of course desk time uh, maybe new patient uh, time you want to block to hopefully get new patients in during that time walk-in hours those kinds of things so the blocking tools there's a variety of them work very well together to get your schedule the way they want, make it as flexible as you want it to be. Uh, and then the staff utilization uh, dashboard widget pulls that together and says, okay, let's look and see for a specified time period what's happening for this specific provider. Now, if you have any questions about that, please give us a call, email us, live chat us. We are always happy to help. Thank you very much for joining us for today. It's your Friday. And as always, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.